What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Sorry for the long break. My last video was about four weeks ago and it was talking about Andy Towers, um, Alcour, Duluzet, which I love now. Um, I did a first impressions on that one, but now it's one of my favorite fragrances. Um, just really beautiful from start to finish. Um, really enjoyable. Um, good price. My only complaint is the sprayer is a little bit janky, but I think that's a known issue. Um, I don't know if it's fixed in your bottles or how old this one is, but highly, highly enjoy this. It's I think it's creeping up in my top 10 um, fragrances of all time. Just really enjoy this one. If you haven't had a chance to smell this, definitely check it out. Get a sample. Um, can't recommend it enough. Um, another thing I wore yesterday was um, this, which I hadn't... Well, I did actually, I, I wear this um, occasionally, but uh, when I first got Vani Havan, um, which was, I think, a little over two years ago, I was wearing it almost daily, um, drank a lot of it, and then I got kind of scared and, um, it, for using the whole bottle, so I kind of stopped using it for a little bit. Um, but it's back now. Um, again, another one of my favorites of all time. Highly enjoy this. Um, from start to finish as well. Really, really beautiful. Uh, vanilla, rum, cacao. Um, what else is in here? Tobacco. Um, just a really beautiful masculine scent. Perfect for, you know, fall, winter. But I do wear this any time of day, anywhere. Um, just a really beautiful masculine scent. Would be great. Um, I think would be a great gift. Um, but again, that's only if the person likes dark fragrances. Um, but the reason we are here today is I want to show you guys my options for my brother's wedding. My brother is getting uh, married this coming weekend and he asked me to be his best man. Um, that weekend is coming up and I need to decide what to take um, to be my fragrance of the night. And I have a couple options here on my right that I will show you in a second. Um, but first, my brother purchased, um, or he asked me, what do you think of Tom Ford's Cafe Rose? And this was, I think yesterday he asked me. And I said, it's really good from what I remember. I really enjoy it. I really like the perfumer, which is Antoine Lee. So this is the new, uh, the new signature series, Cafe Rose, not the private blend. Although I don't know if... Antoine did that one or not. Anywho, when he asked me that, I was actually wearing Vinny Havan, so this is also Antoine Lee. Um, I said, go for it, it's really great. Um, the reason he was asking for that is because he needs a, you know, fragrance for his wedding and for photos, you know, when they're getting ready and things like that. He wanted a pretty bottle, a good looking bottle to be in pictures to remember forever. So Cafe Rose is going to be his his wedding scent, which is kind of fun and really excited for him. Um, but before we get to his wedding, um, let's do um, some fragrances that I've worn um, this year, just to a couple weddings. Um, back a year ago, actually, another friend got married and I wore Oud Ispahan. I also had a decant that I had made and my dad also wore Udis Bahan. So we both wore Udis Bahan. He actually really enjoys it. So does my mom. They really enjoy this fragrance. They can't get enough of it. She was asking me to get her a bottle. But Udis Bahan has, has been a, a, you know, a great choice for me for special events, special occasions. Um, really bold, stands out, mysterious, but cla and, and classy. Um, the only downside of this one is the following day, if you you know if you had too much fun and you're hungover, um, this is a scent that I smell a lot when that happens. Uh, for some reason, I like to drink a lot when I wear Udis Bahan. But again, special occasions, um, that's probably why. So I'm not gonna wear Udis Bahan this time. I'm gonna pick something else. So we will put that aside. It's it's done its job so far. One of my favorites. 
Um, another one that I've worn to weddings is um, not night clubbing, but Celine black tie I wore to another wedding, but my cat broke my black tie bottle, so I have this one for display. Um, but I also would definitely wear this for weddings. I, I think I've worn it to you know some nights out with friends, things like that. I've worn this to work. Um, just beautiful presentation from Celine here. And black tie is incredible. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's vanilla and orris and some other creamy thing, but. Um, just a really beautifully well done, well crafted vanilla fragrance that, you know, every time I've worn it, somebody has said something. So it definitely does stand out in a world full of vanilla fragrances. Black tie is definitely one to try out. If you think you've smelled van a vanilla like that, I think, I don't think you have. Um, it's really classy and different. Um, highly recommend that. Also night clubbing is another type of vanilla. Um, this one's just a little more rough, a little more jagged, ashy. Um, the galbanum here takes it to this like green mossy route. Um, so I, I wouldn't mind wearing this either for uh, an event. Um, so that here's a, a Celine bottle just for display. Um, but I have one fragrance that I also wore to a wedding two weeks ago. Um, one of my favorite fragrances of all time, Oud Rosewood. This is a new bottle that I just got. It's, a, it's full, it's 250 mils. Really, really excited about this. I had been wearing a decant that I finished pretty quickly and finally got the opportunity, opportunity to purchase a bottle of this and I can't get enough of it. Um, if I were to pick a signature scent for myself currently, you know, this right now, it would be Oud Rosewood. It is, to me, I don't know how to say this, but it's an easy wear for me, even though this is really, really rough and a little out there. The best way I can explain this is that it's easy enough to wear that it feels like a designer fragrance, you know, even if it's like a, uh, an outlier um, designer fragrance, but it does have an aspect of it that, I don't know, elevates a little bit or just makes it more interesting. Just a really beautiful composition that I highly enjoy. Um, I wore this to one of my really good friend's weddings and I had at least six compliments on it saying it smelled really nice, um, that it smelled, you know, woody, obviously. Um, someone said it smelled like mezcal, so that's smoky, you know, uh, spirit, um, just a really classy scent, um, definitely leans masculine but I don't see why uh, a lady couldn't pull this off but there's Oud Rosewood um, I am taking Oud Rosewood with me um, so the the wedding is uh, on a Saturday but this is gonna be my daily driver for the Friday before so the day before and I'm gonna have a decant of this so I'm not gonna take the full bottle um, but I will have a decant with me this will be my easy you know, put on fragrance to just have in my back pocket. But the main reason, or the, the main fragrance that I need to wear is between two options, and I'll bring them up here right now. So, it's a special day. I'm the best man for my brother's wedding. So currently, I'm debating if I'm gonna either do this, so The Night by Frederick Mall, or another really great fragrance, another masterpiece, if you will, is Roja's Diaghilev. So both of these are 
two of my um, very very exclusive uh, special wear type of fragrance um, I can't remember the last time I wore the night but it's been a while it's been a while it's been too long um, the only reason is the price obviously but if I could wear that every day I would no pro no issues no issues there but I can't because you know it's, it's, it's kind of pricey um, the last time I wore Diagolev was well actually recently I, I wore Diagolev on my birthday back in September um, went to a comedy show put this on a couple sprays I think like four or five and then most recently on Thanksgiving Day I wore Diagolev to a, a night out pretty much to get some drinks I really adore both um, the night is you know Rosen Oud, really good quality Oud. That's just something about it. It's just like the perfect touch of sweetness that is very ad addictive. Um, just smelling it out, out of the bottle. You know, I probably smell it out of the bottle three times a week. Um, it's still potent. I haven't sprayed it in months, I don't think. And, you know, I can still smell it from there. Really, really strong, beautiful, complex, and um, you know, just a, a great special occasion fragrance that I, I enjoy and I love. Um, Roja, on the other hand, is also very special to me. Just a uh, fruity. Um, Indian spice market, um, just a, a gorgeous blend of spices. To be honest, really, um, really masculine in my opinion. But actually, never mind. It's it's, it's very unisex, to be honest. Um, but those are my two options. Let me know what you guys think. Um, might just take both, and we will see. But. Um, I will need to, uh, I guess, decide soon, right? But if you have any com uh, any comments or if you, what what would what would you choose if you were a best man at a wedding? Let's put it at that. Um, the only other thing that I have um, purchased recently is this partial bottle of Amber Oud. Last night for bed I wore regular Oud. I really enjoy that one. That one's another rose Oud fragrance. That would also be another good option to for a wedding, but currently I'm just going to stick with the Agalef and the Night. Uh, but Amber Oud is a little touch sweeter than regular Oud. Uh, gorgeous composition as well. I really enjoy this one. I'm really enjoying Roja. I also um, received a sample of Roja Scandalporum uh, from a guy that I, had, that I had ordered from previously. And I fell in love with it at first spray. Just a beautiful fougere. Uh, really, really interesting and, and engaging reminded me of Chanel um, Pour Monsieur which I had owned for a bit but I sold it off because it was too boring for me um, whereas Scandal Pour Homme has that extra edge to it that I really enjoy so that'll definitely be coming on to my collection soon um, but I am moving in two weeks so I need to uh, save for that but once I'm moved and settled I'll, I'll start purchasing some more roses because I am really enjoying them. Um, one final thought: I am I might also take this bottle, um, Royal Oud Millicene, um, up to my brother's wedding. I'm gonna let him sniff it, see if he likes it, see if he wants to make this his um, fragrance of the night. It'll be great for photos too. You know, beautiful bottle here. 
Um, but that is going to be his decision, so we will leave it at that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of my choices for uh, the wedding. So thank you. Catch you guys later.